Hello everybody and welcome to another pickup video. Um, this will be showing off some of the things I picked up uh, in the last little while. Uh, first of all, let's go off with the DVDs. First thing I picked up is an American Werewolf in Paris. Didn't have this in my collection, so I have the London one. Didn't have the Paris, so I figured I'd pick it up. I heard it's not as great as the London one, so... Um, but as a horror fan, you gotta have the horror movies in the, in the collection. Now, the next one is Wolf with uh, Jack Nicholson and Michelle Pfeiffer. Never seen this movie. Seen it for $2. Figured I'll pick it up. Uh, Child's Play 2. This ends my Child's Play collection. I was missing this one for my collection. And it has a glow in the dark exclusive cover from Walmart. It says 8 bucks on there, but I only paid 5 uh, For some strange reason, when it rang in, it rang in as 5 Like I said, now my Child's Play collection is complete. That was the last one I was missing. I uh, picked up another movie from the dollar store, uh, Haunting in Asylum in 3D. Uh, looks pretty cool. Yeah, I usually like these uh, ghost movies type deals. So uh, picking them up for $3, you can't go wrong. Can't. So I also picked this one up for $3 at a uh, local shop around my, where my girlfriend stays. And I was surprised to find it. And now I'm only missing, I think, part one to have on uh, Blu-ray to have them all. And that's Final Destination 3. Uh, like I said, paid three dollars for it. I was happy to get this. I don't know if it has the jump kills or not, but uh, showing off some more of my Lego dimensions. Next one is Midway Kid, the arcade machine that has Defender onto it, and the Spy Hunter car. Then we have Doctor Who playset, which consists of Doctor Who or the Doctor, the TARDIS. And K9. I was holding his head there. K9. Uh, let's get into the games. Uh, I paid two dollars for these two. I know the prices are on them are say different. But I paid two dollars because EV was having a weird type of sale. First one is Wally on a DS. It's complete. Uh, got that at EV. Then I got the uh, Tony Hawk's American Skater Skateland for also two dollars. Uh, I got two Super Nintendo games. Uh, first one is Speedy Gonzales. Las Gatos Bandidos. Paid 8 for this one. And Toy Story. Paid 9. Uh, don't see these often around anymore. So I figured I'll pick them up for good price. Uh, picked up a couple of games I didn't have in my PS3 collection. Um, at EB also. Paid four fifty for this one. Rogue Warrior. Uh, looks pretty good. Works like a pretty cool... Uh, shooter type game, but IGN didn't give it a good score, so I don't know about that. Uh, Golden Compass, only paid two fifty for this one. I uh, didn't have this in my collection, I was actually surprised. Uh, it should be easy trophies if there is trophies into it. Paid four fifty for this one, it's Sorcery. Uh, goes with my PlayStation Move, I still haven't used my PlayStation Move yet, so happy to uh, have that in my collection now. I was looking for this one for a while, it's Medieval Moves, uh, Dead Men's Quest. I don't know, it looks like a fun little corny um, move action game. So I was happy to get it just to see what it was about. Uh, these two were also $2 a piece, and I was happy to add them into my collection. CSI Criminal Scene Investigation Hard Evidence on the Wii. I believe I have this on the 360. So uh, get it on the Wii too. Not as bad, not, not that bad. And Grand Theft Auto 4, I had a copy of this. My copy didn't work, so I was happy to get another copy of it. And it's complete. All these games were complete for two dollars at EV. I couldn't complain. Uh, that's like best price you can buy probably there. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will have another one up up Sunday. I don't know why I said up up twice there. And I probably will try to have a game review up this week. So you guys all take her easy, and I'll catch you later.